Root surgery is a real tough job, but I know just the guy to get it done. It's me. I'm the guy. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kid, and you might think that making fruit salad is an easy process. Well, I disagree. It takes the precision of a surgical master to save the fruits that we know and love. And I've saved a lot of fruits, and I've also performed some really disgusting fruit surgeries. Which are the most disgusting? Well, let's find out together, shall we? Fruit Clinic. And in Fruit Clinic, you take on the noble task of saving the lives of fruit. It actually looks hilarious and it looks like a lot of fun, so we're gonna try it out. So who's our first patient? Let's find out. It's this poor little apple. He's so cute, look at him. How did I get here? One second I was on a tree, and then the next second I was on the ground. Next thing you know, I'm in a hospital. He looks so scared. <laughs> poor little apple. Okay, it just says tap to play, so. Tap, okay, uh, so we just, we swipe up. We sewed you up, dude, you're good to go. Now someone's gonna go take a big old bite out of you. Hopefully not, hopefully he lives on a little bit longer after that very difficult surgery. We've unlocked a new tool, the tweezers. Let's get it. And we have collected tweezers. What do the tweezers do for us? I have no idea, but I imagine they help us extract things from fruit that are needing extractions. Okay, so here we are in our office and it looks like we actually have the option to upgrade our office, add some decor, and there you go. Now we have a fruit clock. Let's move on to our next fruit surgery. Oh no, Mr. Banana. You have an invader, a parasite. Oh, that is very upsetting. Okay, tap to play, all right? And then we just tweeze that little guy out. Oh my gosh, that was much longer than I was expecting. That is horrifying. I'm so glad that we got that worm out of that banana. We earned ourselves some money. I can get times three that amount of money if I watch an ad. I'm gonna do it. Look at that, now we get 210 fruit bucks. And now I have a vacuum. We now have the option to purchase a new station. Okay. Upgrading the station, I like it. Let's move on to our next surgery. Perhaps we'll use the vacuum. Oh no! That is disgusting! This strawberry is infected with larva. And let me guess, we're gonna vacuum them out, aren't we? Oh yes, okay. Oh, uh, that's, I gotta do a figure eight? Huh? Oh no, it's just saying like, you know, like just suck up all the disgusting little maggots in this strawberry. <laughs> Let's sew this guy up. I'm so sorry that you had to experience that little strawberry man. And now we unlock the lancet. I thought this was called a scalpel, but you know what? You learn something new every day. And I've learned. Lancet, AKA scalpel, unlocked. Also, we can buy furniture now. Upgrade that couch. Oh, give it a coffee table. Are you a cucumber? You're a cucumber with an alien bursting out of your chest. It's actually a worm. It's still disgusting. All right, so we need to use the tweezers to extract the worm. We place it on the tray. All right, get the check mark. Okay, no, oh no, oh, oh no! I hate this, I'm so sorry, Mr. Cucumber. Oh gosh, this is so upsetting. You're getting sewed up, buddy. You're gonna be as good as new. Look at you, you're so happy. I saved that cucumber's life. And one day you're gonna make someone's salad delicious. We've unlocked band-aids. Oh, look at this cool dude. What are you? I don't know what kind of fruit or vegetable he is, but I do know that he is a VIP. I mean, look at those glasses. So we get a plus 500 bonus for saving this guy. All right, Mr. VIP, you're gonna be just fine. Is he an onion? I think he might be an onion. Let's see what's going on inside don't you worry oh no what what even is that i don't know what that is are those eggs some kind of bugs eggs i'm i'm sorry that this happened to you but you're gonna be just fine you're gonna be absolutely fine and look at that 500 fruit bucks i still am not exactly sure what the fruit bucks are for but if i watch an ad i can get 1500 i'm gonna do it 
I'm gonna do it. 1500 It's glorious. Let's claim it. Okay, so now we can spend some of our fruit bucks to buy upgrades to our office. That makes sense. Okay, so let's upgrade the station. Nice. More shelves, I guess. Let's upgrade the furniture. We got the money to spend. We got a bookshelf now. Look at us moving up. And let's give ourselves some more decor. A medical box. So that people know that we're a medical professional. We still have more money to spend. Let's get some more decor going. Oh, upgrading the clock. I guess the watermelon clock is better than the not watermelon clock. I think it was an apple clock before. Either way, let's move on to our next surgery, shall we? We still got to use the band-aids. We haven't used the band-aids. All right, Mr. Avocado, you look delicious, but I'm not going to eat you because I have a feeling there's something disgusting. What? What is that? Is that just... Is that the pit? Why are we extracting the pit from the avocado? They are one in the same. They belong together. Why am I taking out the pit? It seems like super weird. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, we did a great job uh, extracting the pit from this avocado. He is now a pitless avocado with a band-aid. And look at that. We even used a green band-aid so it blends in. That's why I'm a professional fruit surgeon. We have unlocked the x-ray tool. I have a feeling this one's gonna be fun. So we actually only have four more tools to unlock. So let's get to work. Let's continue our fruit surgery. But before we do that, let's upgrade our furniture. What do you got? A better coffee table. Honestly, kind of looks the same as the previous coffee table. Doesn't feel like, you know, a great use of our funds. Next surgery, please. Hello, Mr. Tomato. What's going on there? Looks like you have a pimple. <laughs> Why? Oh, wait, what? What? It is. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, I hate this so much. Oh, why? Why did this tomato have a pimple? If you ever see a tomato with a pimple, run. We do now have the opportunity to use our x-ray machine, though. No. Ew. Okay. We we know where we need to cut. Okay. Let's get... Oh, what? There's a smaller tomato inside of this tomato. Not to mention he's covered in maggots. Disgusting. Just truly disgusting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Let's extract the smaller tomato who is very happy. I mean, he's a very happy little green tomato. He must have been very cozy in there. Let's sew this guy up. You're good to go, buddy. You're good to go. I would love to never have to experience popping a tomato pimple ever again. Thank you. Let's move on. We've unlocked spray. <laughs> what? what? What kind of spray? Is it like an antibacterial spray? Is it just water? I don't know. It just says spray. And there it is in all of its glory. The spray. Oh no. This eggplant appears to have mushrooms growing on him. Is this what the spray is for? It's an anti-mushroom spray? I don't know. I have no idea. But I do love <laughs> mushrooms just go flying everywhere. We'll pick those up later. Put them in a salad. Anyways, uh, let's cut this guy open and see what's inside. Oh, of course, a, a smaller eggplant. What is with all these fruits and vegetables that have smaller versions of the same fruit or vegetable inside of them? These plants must be growing in some kind of radioactive soil. That's all I got to say. You guys need to get out of there. Some weird stuff is happening to you guys. All right, let's just let's fix this guy up. He seemed really happy that we got that small eggplant out of him. And there you go. We got hearts and cash. Let's not forget the cash. And we have unlocked the shaver. What kind of fruit has hair? I guess you could say a kiwi, right? Kiwis are kind of fuzzy. I now have enough money to upgrade another part of my office. Let's go with the furniture. Then why does it just keep upgrading the same thing? I wish it would add more stuff. I don't need a newer bookshelf. The previous bookshelf was totally fine. Either way, let's move on to our next surgery. It is a kiwi. Look at him. He's so scared. Don't worry, buddy. We're going to take good care of you. But first, we must clean the, the, the surgical area. So here we go. We're just getting all these fuzzies out of here. Don't you worry. I've done a pretty terrible job, honestly, but it's good enough. All right. Let's see. Is there going to be a small kiwi inside this kiwi? No, there's seeds. You're... 
You're supposed to have seats. All right, we're gonna take out these seats. I'm, I'm sorry, but I guess you don't want them anymore. Maybe they're making you uncomfortable. I don't know. I've never been a Kiwi before. So I do the surgeries. I don't ask the questions. I'm not the expert, although I probably should be. All right, let's sew this guy up. He just looks really, really sad. I'm sorry, Mr. Kiwi. You're getting sewed up. You're getting fixed up. You're happy now. Everything's great. And don't worry about the fuzz. It, it'll grow back, maybe? I don't know. Does kiwi fuzz grow back? We've unlocked cottons. Is this our last item? This is either our last item or our second to last item. It was our second to last item. We still need this syringe. Oh, we got another VIP. And he's a cool cob of corn. Mr. Corn, you're gonna be fine. Looks like he kind of got burnt, huh? He was turning into popcorn. We don't want that. This man is a VIP. Let's fix him up. We're gonna use these cotton swabs to, I guess, clean the kernels. We're doing a kernel transplant. It's a very delicate procedure. Stay calm, sir. Please stay calm, all right? That seems like a good spot for that kernel. Place a kernel, right? Nope, okay, we're not gonna put a kernel there. I guess we're gonna put a kernel here. Okay, we're still missing two kernels, but he's happy. And you know what? If the customer's happy, I'm happy. Look at that, 1,250 fruit bucks. I can multiply it times three. I have to, right? I have to. $3,750? Let's see what we can buy now. Oh my gosh, we can really upgrade stuff. Okay, let's get a new station. Okay, see, now we're actually adding stuff. I like this. Decor, what are you gonna do? You, oh, we got a rug, very fancy. Let's upgrade the station again. Ooh, okay, an IV drip. Let's keep upgrading the station. I feel like that's probably the most vital part of any surgical practice. Okay, what about the furniture? Oh, new desk. Look at that chair, very ergonomically friendly. Good for the lower back. Decor, continue. Ooh, new curtains, new plants. <laughs> Let's just say business is good. Fruit surgery business. That is, oh, we got a fluorescent light. Feel like we probably should have had some light in here before, but either way, we're moving up in the world. Okay, so we can afford one more furniture upgrade, so let's go ahead and do that. New chair, now we can fit three fruits at a time. And then let's get a station upgrade. A better, better monitor computer thingy bobber. I should probably know what that's called, being that I am a surgeon. I'm just testing you guys. Okay, let's move on to our next surgery. I'm hoping that this one unlocks that final item that we need. Look at this poor little green bean. Let's fix him up. We use the cotton to, I guess, I don't know. Are we cleaning him or are those like burn marks? Either way, I imagine when I cut this guy open, he's gonna have peace inside of him. I mean, that's kind of the way that you're supposed to be. Why is one of the peas so sad though? I love the expressions on them. It's actually awesome. All right, well, I guess we'll extract these peas and turn these guys into soup later. No, that's mean. But I mean, split pea soup, it's pretty good. All right, Mr. Mr. Pea Pod. Now you're really just a green bean pod. You have no peas, but he's happy about it. Oh, and check it out. We've unlocked the syringe, which is our final item. And there are all of our items in all of their glory. Let's see what the syringe does. Oh no, these grapes. They've got like flies flying around. Oh, I think actually the darker grapes, they, they, they might be rotting. That's pretty gross. So so what are we gonna do to fix these guys? I guess we use the syringe on, on them, inject them full of grape fluid? I don't know. We're fixing them up though. We're turning them back into proper grapes. And look at how happy they are. The flies are gone. Everybody's rejoicing. What a bizarre game. I kind of love it. How am I continuing to unlock items? Oh, are these just cosmetics? Like I already have tweezers, but these tweezers look a little bit different than the previous tweezers. I don't need fancy colored tweezers. I'm good with just silver metal tweezers. Oh, look at this poor guy. This is a peach. You know what? Peaches have fuzz. There's another fruit that has fuzz. Just like the kiwi. The kiwis and the peaches. Can't think of any other ones. That's okay. That That is just disgusting. He's, he's like rotting. Poor guy's rotting. We're gonna we'll just fix the rot with the syringe. It's all it takes. And then cut him open. Oh no, he's got a broken heart. This peach 
has a broken heart. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna fix up that broken heart. Don't you worry, buddy. I'm gonna give you a nice new fresh heart so that you can fall in love again. It's the greatest story never told. There you go. The peach is saved. Let's upgrade our station since we got some cash. Oh, we got some good lighting now. And then let's upgrade our furniture. And then that's, that's all the money. Now we can have important meetings with our clients. Welcome back to Fruit Clinic. It's a poor little pumpkin and he has a worm. He's got worms. Ew. Is a pumpkin a fruit? It's a gourd. What's a gourd though? Google, is a pumpkin a fruit? It's a fruit. I'm sorry that I misidentified you as a vegetable, Mr. Pumpkin, but I am gonna save your life regardless. We gotta tweezer out that just really upsettingly long worm. Okay, the worm's been cleared out. Now we got we got cut this guy open. Oh no! <laughs> the larva worms. Okay, okay, we've saved the 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 small pumpkin inside of the larger pumpkin. Now we just need to get this guy out. There you go. There you go. You're saved. Uh, and so stitch you right up, buddy. We're gonna we're gonna get you nice and nice and stitched up. You yeah, you did a great job. Now, something that I will note from the previous episode, I was kind of freaked out about the fact that there were smaller fruits inside of the larger fruits. I recognize that these are the babies of these larger fruits, but I hope you guys know that's not where fruits and vegetables come from. They grow on either trees, vines, or out of the ground. They do not come out of larger versions of the same fruit. But either way, let's move along, shall we? We made 600 bucks, I think that's pretty good. Let's add to our decor. We've got our decor up to level eight. Look at that, we got a rug. Making progress. Who's next? Oh no, <laughs> he's a mushroom. And he's a cool mushroom, because he's a VIP. VIPs always wear sunglasses, even in the operating room. It's science, let's save this poor little mushroom. Okay, so clearly this fungus has some kind of fungus, I don't know, like he's got an infection in his head. So we'll just, uh, we'll fix that up with the syringe. And then, okay, we gotta slice him open. Sorry, buddy, I'm so sorry. Oh no, he has a broken heart. Don't worry, I'm an expert at fixing broken hearts. Here you go, okay, we get one side of the heart and then we gotta grab the other side of the heart, nice and gentle. I played plenty of operation in my day. Don't touch the sides, the buzzer goes off. All right, place the heart back where it belongs and stitch him up and this VIP is good to go. Now give me my cash. Oh my gosh, $2,500. However, if I watch an ad, I can multiply that by three and I'm gonna do it. We've done it. We've watched an ad and multiplied the money we earned. It was a very difficult process, okay? Let's claim our 7,500 bucks and let's upgrade our office. Okay, uh, we'll just get one of everything and see where that leaves us. Ooh, that's a nice looking operating table. Make sure those fruits are nice and comfortable while we slice them open. Furniture, all right, we got a new bookshelf. It's a cactus bookshelf, awesome. What about decor? What kind of decor can we get? I didn't see anything change. All right, let's upgrade the decor again. Hope that something actually changes. We got some more plants. Furniture. Oh, new desk. Ooh, the L-shaped desk. I like it. Station. Okay, upgrading the cabinet behind the operating table. Let's upgrade the station yet again. Ooh, we got a fancy light now. We have enough for one more upgrade. Let's get furniture. Yeah? Okay, our cactus has become a tree. Let's save another fruit, shall we? Oh, it's a watermelon. No, not this again, oh my gosh. I hate this so much. This watermelon has a pimple and we need to pop it. Oh, I don't like this one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh no, I hate it so much. I hate it, I hate it. Ooh, and the and my tablet like vibrates while it's pushing on the pimple. Oh, it's disgusting. Okay, we survived the pimple popping of the watermelon. I think I mentioned this in the previous episode, but if your fruit has pimples, don't eat it. All right, let's slice open this watermelon and see what we need to do. Okay, you got some larva, buddy. Oh, we gotta make two cuts. Oh no. I just, I don't know if I would eat a, a watermelon at this point if it's got larva inside of it. I'm sorry, buddy. I mean, I'm sure you're a perfectly great and very nice watermelon, but I would not eat you. Either way, you've been saved. And I never want to pop another fruit pimple again. 
I'm like Dr. Pimple Popper, but for f fruits. Maybe I should start a channel. I'll get a TLC show one of these days. Let's upgrade our decor. <laughs> We got a new clock. Wait, no, I wanted fruit themed clocks only. It's a little disappointing. It is a cuckoo clock and you know how the, the, the cuckoo comes out of it at like 12 o'clock or on the hour. Maybe it's a, a fruit that comes out of it. Either way, we got another surgery to do. Let's make some money. Let's save this carrot. What's going on with this carrot? I mean, I think he's just dirty. <laughs> you just, you just need a little bath, Mr. Carrot. That's all, see? You're as good as new. Although now I need to slice you open. So just, okay, okay, you got a small carrot in you. Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna get this little baby carrot out of you and you are good to go. Sew him up, sew him up. Okay, there you go. And, oh, oh, we need to bandage him. Good, we used an orange bandage to keep everything cohesive. People won't even know. Also, now that I think about it, I keep calling these fruits he's. They're having babies, these are girl fruits. Look at how happy that little baby carrot is. Oh, you're gonna have a great life. Or you're gonna be delicious in a salad. Let's move along, shall we? All right, let's upgrade our station. All right, we got a new heart monitor. Sweet. What are you? Are you a coconut? This dude's a coconut and he's got a serious infection. All right, we need to save this poor little coconut. Let's spray all the mushrooms off of the coconut and then we need to uh, we need to clean it up. So we're gonna shave that coconut fuzz. There you go, nice and clean. Yes, is that good? All right, that's good. And then the syringe, right? Yep, that cleans up uh, whatever kind of infection this poor little coconut has, has been infected with. And there you go. That was actually super easy. No cutting involved. Now I do have to say, a thousand bucks is pretty good. I can multiply it by three by just watching an ad. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. A few moments later. 3,000 buckaroos. Fruit bucks, whatever you wanna call them, they're mine now. And now we can upgrade even more. Let's upgrade the station. Oh, the furniture is at its max level. That's actually pretty interesting. But the station and the decor are not. So let's continue upgrading those. We got some nice plaques. Every professional needs some plaques on their walls. You cucumber? Is this guy a cucumber? Pretty sure he's a cucumber. Cucumbers are not fruit, right? Maybe he's a squash. Is a squash a fruit? As a professional fruit surgeon, I should probably know this stuff. I don't. But that's what Google's for. I asked Google and Google answered, yes, a cucumber is a fruit. Seriously, you learn something new every day. Don't worry, little cucumber fruit. I'm gonna save you. Let's get this worm out. All right, what's next? Looks like we have to like spray or something. Oh no, the x-ray. We gotta find, oh, that's nasty. All right, we know exactly where to cut now. Let's get this guy cleaned up. All right, <laughs> it's just absolutely gross. You think being that this is my job and I do this day in and day out that I'd get kind of used to the idea of extracting larva out of poor helpless little fruits? Absolutely not, still disgusting. <laughs> Although I love the idea of a surgeon walking over to the operating table and telling his patient, this is absolutely gross, I can't stand this, and then continues to do the operation. <laughs> Yet again, I have the opportunity to get 3,000 fruit bucks. I'm gonna do it. Sweet, that was an easy 3,000 bucks. Let's upgrade decor. Okay, we get better lights. I like those, those seem much more functional. And that was the last upgrade for the decor. So all we have to do is focus on the station upgrades and we're good to go. Who's next? Oh, it's a VIP. What are you? Is he a radish? Radishes are more red than purple. I don't know what he is, but you guys will tell me in the comment section below. I, I guarantee it. Everybody told me all the fruits in the previous episode that I got wrong. So let's start and look at this. We have the opportunity to make not $3,000, but 9,000, because we can multiply it if we watch the ad. Let's start. All right, Mr. VIP, don't you worry. I'm gonna save you even though I don't know what kind of fruit you are. I know in the first episode, the first VIP that we cut open was apparently a dragon fruit, not an onion. I thought he was an onion. This dude, he kind of looks like a red onion to me. Because red onions are kind of purple. But I'll leave it to the comment section to figure out what this guy is. Let's cut him open. Let's save him. Let's make a lot of money. I keep calling him a him. It's actually a girl because he just had a... She just had a baby red onion. I don't know. All right, let's sew her up. And she's 
Just give her a little purple band-aid. You're good to go. And you have a new baby red onion, maybe. Still don't know what you are, but I'm about to make 9,000 bucks. Yes, please. I now have $11,000. Uh, let's spend it to upgrade our station. Okay, that's an air conditioning unit. I have one of those too. Look, you can just barely see it in the corner, right over there. Let's continue upgrading the station. Okay, okay. That seems like a practical upgrade. Keep it going, we got money to spend. Wow, that is a cool light. And we can afford one more, so let's do it. Oh, what is that? Laser arm? Whoa, we maxed out everything. I was not expecting that, but I mean, awesome. So now that our office is fully decked out, we can just focus on saving the lives of adorable little helpless fruits. Sounds pretty good, let's continue. Oh no. Dude, you got flies. That's disgusting. Don't worry, buddy, I'm gonna save you, but first I have to pop this nasty pimple. I hate this. Oh, I hate it so much. Oh, it's gonna go. Oh, any second. Gosh, why does it have to just like explode like that? Absolutely disgusting. All right, let's just, let's just move on. If, if we move on quickly, we won't have to dwell on the fact that I just had to pop another pimple off of a fruit. Absolutely disgusting. All right. Larva or baby? Oh, look at how cute the little baby. I don't know, zucchini, cucumber? It could also be okra. Did you guys know okra is a fruit? Either way, we're gonna save this little baby zucchini, okra, cucumber, and everybody is gonna go home very happy, including me. No, I don't need your money anymore. I've made all the money that I need. I don't need to watch any more ads. I can just keep on surgering. What's this guy? Maybe a mango? I think he might be a, a, a mango. This is half the fun of Fruit Clinic now, is just figuring out what the actual fruit is that we're operating on. I'm gonna go with mango. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let's cut this guy open, clean him up. Oh my goodness, it's nasty. It's nasty, dude. You need to take better care of yourself. You gotta be careful. No more hanging out with larvas. Ew. Okay, we have another mysterious orange fruit that I don't recognize. Maybe this guy is a mango and the previous guy was a squash. I don't know, I don't know. Either way, we gotta spray these mushrooms off of him. All right, good start. And then we need to find a further infection. Ooh, okay. Oh, he's got multiple uh, infections. Let's slice open this section. Slice open this section. I feel like these are not infections. I feel like these are seeds, but either way, he doesn't want them anymore. So I'm just, I'm, I'm doing my job. You're the client. I'm the professional. I'm just gonna do my job and, and make you happy. And you look very happy now. Look at this poor little orange. He's just so sad. Don't worry, little orange buddy. We're gonna save you. So we're getting straight to the slicing. Nothing before that. Just cut him open. Okay, okay. I keep calling him a him. This is a girl orange who just had a baby orange. Don't you worry. You're gonna go home with your baby and you guys are gonna have a, a wonderful life together being oranges. What do oranges do? I gotta say, Fruit Clinic is a weird game, but I really enjoy it. I think you guys do too. But as far as I can tell, I think we've pretty much just finished the game. We've done all the upgrades that you can, and we've saved a lot of fruits and delivered a lot of fruit babies. Welcome back to Fruit Clinic. No, it is not Mobile Monday. Instead, it's Fruit Fun Friday. That's, that's a thing that I just made up. Either way, uh, we've all been getting a kick out of this game, and part of the fun is just guessing what the next fruit is that we're gonna be operating on. Like for instance, this guy, he's apparently a VIP. I don't know what he is. He might be a Kiwi or something. Either way, he's got a pimple, and if you guys have been following this series, I hate fruits with pimples. That's not normal, but we should probably save this little guy. Let's, let's pull this worm out of his chest and just put it over there so we can examine it later. I don't know. Why would we save the worm? Either way, we gotta pop this pimple and I just absolutely hate this process. I don't want it to blow up in my face. Oh my gosh, it's taking so long. The explosion of the 
fruit pimples is so upsetting. I hate it. Let's clean this guy off. I don't think we're actually gonna cut this one up. We're just gonna clean him up and, and let him have a, a happy day. I still am not exactly sure what he is. Now, I don't think he's a kiwi because kiwis have, have fuzz. This is a fuzzless fruit. I don't know. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comment section. Let's move on to our next fruit, shall we? This fruit looks very sad. I'm pretty sure this is a plum. Not a grape, because grapes come in, in bunches. This is a plum. So so we need to get rid of this plum's infection. Good. All right. He's, he's feeling a lot better now. Now we need to cut him up. <laughs> Gosh. There's a small plum inside of you. Don't you worry. We're going to save you. All right. Now you're a parent, I guess. You're going to raise that plum to have a great plum life. I feel good about my work here in Fruit Clinic, saving fruits so that they can get eaten later. We got ourselves some kind of pepper here. Ghost pepper? I don't know. Be careful. Use gloves on this guy and don't touch your eyes after handling this spicy fella. Let's see what we got to do. Okay, first clean off the pepper. Get the, get the surgical area nice and clean. Okay. You're good. Now we're gonna cut you open, buddy. All right, don't you worry. Oh my gosh, okay. You got worms and a smaller pepper. <laughs> so we'll, we'll clean that up and then uh, we'll just we'll pull out this adorable little baby pepper. That is just too cute. <laughs> I just I love it. Look at it. He's, he's looking, he's, he's looking up at his, his, his mama. Mama, I'm a pepper too. Such a weird game. All right. You guys are gonna have a great life together. I'm gonna sew you up. You're, you're gonna be very, very happy. And one day you're gonna make a delicious salsa. But who knows, maybe you'll get to be in the same salsa together. <laughs> oh my, what are you? Is this an artichoke? An artichoke is not a fruit. In fact, I think an artichoke is technically like a flower. Is this an artichoke? Now I have to Google it. Is an artichoke a fruit? No, an artichoke is a vegetable. Google has spoken, and Google says an artichoke is a vegetable. I've been lied to. This game is a lie. It's not fruit clinic. It's fruit and vegetable clinic. Either way, we already knew that. We've we've cut open, like, carrots and stuff. They're, those are vegetables. Either way, let's save this poor little artichoke. <laughs> All right. Get the worm out. Okay. Place it over there. You've got some flies going on. So there's some rot happening here. Oh, you know what? Do we use this on the, the ugly leaves? Yes. Yes, we do. We got to get another batch so that we can clean up that little leaf there. Okay. I'm digging this. And then, uh, oh, we're going to cut open your head. We're doing brain surgery on an artichoke. This is weird. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Let's suck up those worms. Clean you up and then uh, sew you up and then you're good to go. There you go. That's a happy artichoke that is not a fruit. Broccoli? You're broccoli, right? Broccoli is definitely a vegetable. I'm not going to harp too much on the game here, but we're getting a lot of veggies now. Maybe it's because we're higher up in our, our, our level stats. You know, we've gotten so good at operating on fruits. We need to move on to the, the far more difficult vegetables. But here we go again. Popping broccoli pimples. Oh gosh, that one, that one was ready to go. Oh, absolutely disgusting. Okay, all right, we, we'll get these these worms out of this broccoli. I just, I would not feel comfortable uh, eating this broccoli after knowing, you know, what kind of infection he had. But he is a very happy broccoli. All right, who's next up on the docket? We're saving vegetables left and right. Oh, we got ourselves a VIP, and I don't know what that VIP is. He seems very cool, though. Extremely cool. I would love to hear you guys' theories on what this thing is. It's got, like, leaves in his back. It almost looks like a the, the peacock of fruits. Like, you know, peacock feathers. It's a weird-looking fruit. If it didn't have the leaves behind it, I feel like it would just be an orange or, or maybe a peach or something, <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe that's what makes him a VIP. He's just a very unique fella. Let's uh, let's cut him open. Okay, you've got some gross stuff in your insides. Or, or those are just seeds. Well, let's stitch this guy up and uh, give him a nice little band-aid. And there you go. An easy 3,000 bucks. Still don't know what you are, but you look very happy now. So that's good. Is this just a slightly weird shaped kiwi? I think we'll know once we cut it open, right? Because, I mean, kiwis are, they're green inside. 
So, so we'll find out. What are you? Okay, the fuzz has been removed. Let's see, green? Not green! Brown, in fact. I have no idea. And we have to make two incisions? Okay, what are these? Are these just seeds? Yeah, okay, we're pulling seeds out of this strange fruit that I do not recognize. And then we're just gonna stitch him up and he's, he's good to go, I guess. Okay, I, I am very, very interested in knowing what this thing is. What's a brown fuzzy fruit that is also brown on the inside? If nothing else, this game has taught me that I don't know a lot of fruits. <laughs> I think that's safe to say. Let's move along. I wish there was more upgrades for the decor, you know? I got all this cash. 16,000 fruit bucks. And I can't spend it. Okay, this is a cool looking fruit. Don't know what it is. But it's cool. It's purple. It's not a plum, right? We already operated on a plum. Maybe it's just a different shaped plum, you know? Not all plums look exactly the same. Either way, we gotta pull out this worm. And then they've got some kind of infection. You can tell because there's flies flying around them. Let's, let's cut them open. Ooh, ooh! And an infection on the inside. I think that's the first time we've ever seen that. Give me the, the syringe. The de-infector. It's actually like on the, the, the pit of the fruit. Pit of the fruit was infected. So what is purple? Orange on the inside and has a pit. Are there purple apricots? I thought apricots are, are typically orange. Google! Purple apricot. Show me. There are red velvet apricots? Hear me out. This could be a red velvet apricot. Or it could just be a plum that is shaped differently than the previous plum. We may never know. But I think we've been leaving this guy hanging out like this long enough. Let's stitch him up. Send him on his merry way. I can't believe that we've completed 32 levels of this game. It's incredible. I just, I want to keep going. <laughs> I got to know what's next. I can't stop. Oh, dear. What is that? This fruit straight up has, like, tendrils. I don't know if I like this thing. <laughs> I've got to know what this is. I have to Google this, but first let's try to save it. Oh my goodness. So, okay. So like some of its weird looking tendrils got infected or something. And so we're, we're pulling them off, I guess. I don't know. This is such a weird looking fruit. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable eating this thing. I really want to know what this is though. Let's cut it open. Okay, you've got an infection. That explains why the tendrils were dying. But we're gonna fix you up. We're gonna get rid of these worms. It also appears to have a pit, maybe? Or maybe that's just a seed in there? I don't know. Either way, uh, I've gotta Google this thing. How do you even Google what this is? What do I ask Google? What kind of fruit has spikes? That's one of the autocompletes here. Maybe? Oh, I think I found it. CBS News, they did not let me down. 15 strange fruits and vegetables and it's number one, the rambutan. I don't even know if that's how it's pronounced. While it may look a bit like a clown's toupee, the rambutan is a medium-sized tropical fruit that is native to Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Sri Lanka, and other Southeast Asian countries. Additionally, rambutan is a Malay word literally meaning hairy attributed to its hairy cover. There's an image of a rambutan. That's definitely what we just cut open. Very strange looking fruit. I wonder what it tastes like. If any of you guys have eaten a rambutan in the comment section below, let me know what you, what, what you think of this thing. It's kind of terrifying. Let's move along. I am kind of like rejuvenated with the idea of, of what kind of fruits we're gonna run into here. Oh, a pineapple. I can't believe we haven't done surgery on a pineapple yet until now. We're gonna save you, adorable little pineapple man. Don't you worry. <laughs> We've saved the rambutan. Now it's time to save the pineapple. Clean him up. He's got all kinds of infections. It's actually disgusting. Now, why is he like missing scales? That's like the best way I can describe it. I mean, those are not normally what, what pineapple's skin looks like, but there's, oh, okay. So we, we're doing a pineapple scale transplant. 
right, we're going to fix you up, buddy. And you're going to be a very happy pineapple. There you go. Oh, it's such a weird game. I love it. We got ourselves another VIP, and I don't know what he is. So I think this guy might actually be a star fruit, and I didn't even have to Google it. There we go. Now you're a nice, beautiful orange color. Oh, dear. Okay. All right. We've got we've got some problems here. Okay, so the, you got worms. You got worms. We're going we're gonna to get those worms out of you. We're going to treat you well because you're a VIP. You came in here with, with glasses. That's how you get treated better. It's basically science. Anywhere you got to go, just wear your sunglasses inside and you're you're good to go. Here you go. Band-Aid. That's a happy little star fruit. I think it's a star fruit. Oh, no. Is this just a banana peel? What are you? Is this a real thing? What? What is happening here? It looks like a peeled banana. It, it can't be the, oh, but he has a broken heart. That's always so sad, but we're very good at fixing broken hearts here at F Kindly Keen's Fruit Clinic. So there you go, you get yourself a new heart and you're gonna be just absolutely the happiest weird banana peel looking fruit ever. I don't think that this is just a peeled banana. So if you know what it is, please let me know. I want to know. Welcome back to Fruit Clinic. No, it is not Mobile Monday, as many of you like to point out. It's Fruit Friday. That's not a real thing, but it does happen to be Friday today. And we do happen to be performing surgery on fruits, but also vegetables. Either way, let's find out what kind of fruits we're going to be saving the lives of today. First up on the docket, it appears to be a coconut, and we've actually performed surgery on a coconut before, but this coconut has some kind of disgusting infection, and we need to stop it. How do we do that? We inject him with some kind of strange fluid that makes him not disgusting anymore. Congratulations, Mr. Coconut. You're edible again. Although, let's be honest, I would not eat him. Gross, it's a tomato with a pimple. I, I hate the pimple ones. I really, really do. Oh no. It's, uh, is this the only issue? This is all I have to do is pop the pimple on the tomato and he'll be happy? Gosh, that's disgusting. <sighs> that will never not be disgusting. I think that sentence made sense. Don't think about it too hard. Let's move on. It's a cool corn, but he does not look happy. Let's make him happy. We're gonna do a corn transplant again, I think. Don't you worry, Mr. VIP corn. We're gonna clean you up and get you all repaired with new corn kernels, which is kind of a weird thing. Um, are we gonna replace all of his? No, we don't have enough to replace all of his corn kernels. So we're just gonna replace kind of like those. What happened to these these corn kernels though? There's still three that are kind of messed up. Happy customer, happy life. That's what I've always said. Not really, but I did just say it today. It's a cucumber with a worm. Last time that we played, I did investigate it and apparently a cucumber is technically a fruit, which is very surprising. Let's cut open this poor cucumber. Oh, he's got worms. Disgusting. We're gonna vacuum these worms right out of you, buddy, and then we're gonna stitch you up. You're gonna be as good as new. It's like you never even, you, you were never even cut open. For the sake of changing things up a little bit, let's say that this guy's actually a pickle, which I know is technically just a cucumber. Moving right along. It's a watermelon with the pimple again. Why do we gotta have the pimples? Enough with the pimples, please. Just don't shoot it into my face. Okay, this, gross gross just gross why do these fruits have pimples that's that's all i want to know all right let's okay this watermelon definitely has worms and it's absolutely disgusting and we're gonna vacuum them out i feel like we've done this exact level before is it just me or is have we done this we have managed to make it to level 42 so there's bound to be repeats but i want to see new fruits exciting fruits hairy fruits Maybe not the hairy fruits. I, I don't really love hairy fruits. It's a jalapeno. Let's clean him up. Wait, if I remember correctly, we cut open a jalapeno and we helped them deliver an adorable little baby jalapeno. Also, oh, oh, that as a baby jalapeno. It's not a jalapeno. Why am I calling it a jalapeno? Jalapenos are green. This is 
a red jalapeno. It's actually not. It's probably just some kind of pepper. Maybe it's a ghost pepper. I mean, I know it's not because ghost peppers are normally like really weird looking, but let's call it a ghost pepper. Don't touch your eyes after performing surgery on a ghost pepper. I think that goes without saying, but there you go. A, a happy mother ghost pepper with her happy little baby pepper. He's actually really cute. Congratulations. It's the weird hairy fruit again. I forget what this thing is called. Is it a bouton or something like that? What's the hairy fruit? I gotta Google it again. Rambutan. That's what you are. Hello, Rambutan. All right, Rom. We're gonna take good care of you. We gotta remove these, these strange follicles that have died. Your fruit follicles. That's a weird thing to say. Clean that up. All right, what's next? Cut him open. Does he have worms? Yeah, oh yeah, he definitely does, and it's gross. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, vacuum up those worms, and then stitch him up, and he's good to go. He's a happy little tentacled monster fruit. I still hate this thing, but I did hear a lot of people in the comment section have actually eaten this thing before. My understanding is that it kind of tastes like a grape, but I still don't know because I've never eaten one, and they still kind of scare me. What if I'm trying to eat it and then it grabs me with all of those weird tentacles? I know that probably wouldn't happen, but it would be terrifying. And I'm not willing to take that risk. Not right now. Let's move on to our next surgery. It's a cool dude with cool glasses. I've seen you before, but what are you? I feel like a lot of times the fruits are the standard customers and then the vegetables are the VIPs. You know what? I think I'm starting to understand. Vegetable important person. That's what the V stands for. That actually makes no sense, but I like it. Let's save this weird onion man with cool glasses. All right, onion guy. What happened to your cool glasses? He's got, he's got seeds. Oh no, get those seeds out. Although those could be like larva eggs. Maybe, yeah, that's much grosser and seems to be a much better reason to get surgery. So we saved him from the larva eggs. Ugh. I still really wish that I could do more with my office space here. Level 11 is really the max. They gotta, they gotta update this game, man. Give us more to do. I feel like a lot of the surgeries are just repeating now and I have nothing else to do in the office. But let's carry on and hope that we find some more vegetables. We got an eggplant. Eggplant fruit, right? I think we confirmed that in a previous episode. Egg, yeah, eggplant is a fruit. Don't worry, eggplant. We got you, buddy. Oh, you're just, you're empty. Wait, what is, what? Did we just break the game? Is level 46 the very end? There's nothing in there. We cut you open for no reason. Eggplant. He's so sad. I mean, I kind of understand why. We genuinely cut him open with no purpose. And the game is just stuck. Is level 46 glitched? I'm gonna try resetting the game. Hopefully we can save this eggplant or we could turn him into a delicious eggplant Parmesan. Don't tell him. All right, we're gonna try again. Hopefully it works this time, but it's, what? Okay, yes, I have successfully completed the cutting, but seriously, is this the end of our adventure in Fruit Clinic? Is this, the eggplant is our greatest boss? We can't allow for this. Three hours later. So I've completely restarted my game. And as you can see, I'm now on level 34 performing surgery on this lovely pineapple doing a pineapple transplant. But level 46 is where we got stuck. So we're going to get back there. But first we need to fix up this pineapple, give him an injection of something. I don't know. And then replace his pineapple scales, which is very strange. I will say that something was slightly different about this playthrough from our previous one. You probably just noticed that I had orange tweezers. We didn't have those before. So I don't know what exactly is going on, but I do believe that our previous gameplay was broken. It was glitched. And also I haven't upgraded everything completely. Although I think this is the last upgrade for the decor, right? Yeah. And then we have one more upgrade for the station. Hey, it's weird banana peel guy. Never really figured out what this thing is, but we're going to save his life again by fixing his heart. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy your new heart. It's going to make you very happy. 
And now we can get the final upgrade for the station. I do believe it is the final upgrade. I was wrong. There's still another upgrade. So I think this is the level that we were on when we started this video. We've made it full circle. And now I can get the final station upgrade. Get some air conditioning. Okay, I've lied yet again. That wasn't the final station upgrade. What was the final station upgrade? I don't even remember. Let's just keep playing. Oh, I remember you. I popped your tomato pimple earlier. And it was gross, and it still is. Is this the final station upgrade? It's... It's not. We are very quickly approaching the point where we got stuck last time. Level 46. Only three more levels to go, but first we need to save this adorable little red pepper. He's so happy. It's tentacle fruit again. Rom Bhutan. I like to call him Rom. He's saved. All right, here we are, the infamous level 46. Is this gonna work? I don't know. I really hope so. I wanna continue saving Fruits Lives, please. No! I just played through the entire game again to get completely stuck. Makers of Fruit Clinic, please fix your game. There's so many more fruits out there that need to have strange surgeries performed. There's so many more baby fruits that need to be born, and VIP vegetables that need corn transplants and whatnot. And this is what you're gonna do to me, unless like maybe there's a button that I can press. I don't know, it's totally stuck. It's sad, but I cannot save any more fruits. I tried so desperately, so I've now collected all of the upgrades. I've saved many, many fruits and vegetables, I might add. But here we are, stuck with Mr. Eggplant, who has nothing inside of him. Just an empty eggplant. I am the fruit doctor, saving fruit lives so that they can be eaten later. I love this description. Fruit and vegetables have ailments as well. Become the food doctor and help fruits and veggies with whatever checkup they need. Help eggplants give birth, give bananas stitches, or patch up a boo-boo on an apple. So many foods need your help and it's up to you, the fruit surgeon, to help them. It's me, Dr. Fruit. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to my clinic. Let's save some fruits. Okay, we're starting with the apple. He looks like he's in a bad way. What's going on, buddy? I'm cutting you open to see what's happening. You, I just, I didn't do anything. I just cut you open so that I could stitch you back up. It's just a practice apple. Well, at least he's happy about it. Customer's always right. He just, he just wanted to experience the pain of being stitched up. All right. I love this. Uh, shoop. I'll head to the shoop as soon as I have more money. Let's take on our next customer it's a it's a banana <laughs> he looks like he's having a real bad day i gotta get this worm out of his chest which to be fair if i had a worm in my chest i would probably be feeling pretty bad too and now this banana is in love with me i think every fruit that i'm about to save is going to fall in love with me i guess i just have that kind of effect on fruit. Fair enough. Oh, this is strawberry. I'm sorry. What's going on with you? Am I just cutting you open for the sake of cutting you open? No. Oh, no. No. That's... You got... You got worms. You got... Oh, gosh. It's so can we just... Can we just put this strawberry in the compost? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. I mean, do you have feelings? Do you have a family? No one's gonna eat you. Maybe that's a good thing for the strawberry. Live out your life. Oh, we're so close to $300 so we can shoop shoop the whoop what are you are you just like a a mango an unripe ma mango uh, aren't mangoes mangoes are orange but they're green when they start out right how do i put the worm down <laughs> can't put the worm down. All right. Maybe you're a watermelon. I don't know. I guess we'll see once we... Nope. You're not a watermelon. What are you? A cantaloupe? As long as you're a fruit, you're welcomed here. I don't know how to save the lives of any other type of living creature. If you can call fruits living. I'm glad that I saved you and now you're in love with me. Let's go shoop. What can we shoop for? Ah, a medical kit. That makes sense. You should have a medical kit in your fruit doctor clinic. That's a pear. I love a good pear. Now I'm hungry. I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't be talking about getting hungry to eat fruit while I'm saving the life of a actual fruit. It's a little insensitive, but a good pear goes a long way. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is good. This is a good fruit. If it's, if it's nice and ripe. Oh man, I can't 
can't stop talking about how delicious pears are now. How messed up would it be if I save these fruits, stick them in the fridge, and then eat them the next day? <laughs> I'm a monster! I'm sorry I even thought about that. These poor fruits, they have feelings. Let's keep it going. We gotta get to 500 so we can shoop. Oh, oh, not this again. Why do, why do fruits get pimples? <laughs> oh, God. I love one hand. You just, you hold that thumb good and steady. And then the other finger, that's where the real action comes into play. You squeeze that bad boy until it explodes. Oh, why that noise? Why you gotta make that noise? Anyways, orange, you doing okay? Doing good? You got worms? You got pimples? No one's gonna eat you, but... <laughs> I see the thing is, is a fruit going through this kind of like medical treatment so that they are edible again? Does a fruit that has feelings and a face and, and arms, does it want to be eaten? Is that their goal? These are questions that I need to ask the fruits, but they never respond back. This is important stuff. Anyways, let's okay, you're you're a coconut. I feel like a scalpel could get through a coconut, but maybe it's a very strong scalpel. It is. It's a very effective scalpel. We gotta remove these seeds. They're, they're seeds, dude. Aren't you supposed to have seeds? Well, maybe, no, now that I think about it, coconuts do not have seeds. I think, in fact, I think like the coconut itself is the seed of a coconut tree. Is that true? Honestly, as a fruit doctor, I should probably know this. Like I did just pull things out of this coconut acting like I knew what I was doing, but in reality, I didn't actually know what I was taking out of the coconut. Maybe he just had rocks in there. You know, you ever shake a coconut, you get the swish from the water, but if it starts clanking around, you know something's up with that coconut. It ain't right. See, these are the important questions that you want your fruit surgeon to be asking. Although, to be honest, I feel like I should be the one answering those questions, but let's ignore that for now and just give tomato an injection of serum? <laughs> I don't know. It's... Hey, you have seeds too. Wait, if you're, if you're a tomato, you're supposed to have seeds. And even if you're not a tomato and you're actually just an apple, you're also supposed to have seeds. Well, now, now I'm concerned that I'm doing something bad for these fruits and they don't know it. Don't tell them. I can shoop. Let's do it. What is that? An air purifier? Fruits want to breathe fresh air. Maybe they have allergies. Could you imagine being a fruit that was allergic to like pollen? Also, this is a disgusting coconut. Like absolutely foul. And I hope that he didn't hear me. You're good to go, bud. You're the best. And you definitely weren't gross. Next. Ah, this banana has hair. <laughs> That's... <laughs> that ain't normal. And and some kind of growth that is also not normal. You shouldn't have hair growing out of a banana. I don't care who your doctor is. Just throw that banana away. We got another apple. Apples, man. That no one's taking care. Oh, it's a baby apple! It's so cute! I don't think that's where baby apples come from. You know what? It is today. That's adorable. I love it. Hold your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Your baby apple. Someone might eat it. You don't care. She's just in love with me. What can I say? That's a nasty looking lemon. Gosh, what are these fruits doing? I mean, these are literally, I, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna. These are literally the fruits that you find that fell off of a tree. They're on the ground. No one wants to eat those. I'm sorry, Mr. Lemon. That's why I'm whispering so he doesn't hear me. I would never say that stuff directly in the face of the fruits that I'm working on. That would be awful. You're an orange. You're disgusting. You're making me want to throw up. Why do you have hair coming out of your skin? It's not normal. Was that me? Was that too, too far? He's in pain. Look at his face. But if I insult him, maybe it'll distract him from the pain. <laughs> I don't think it's working. I don't think this is working. All right, let's 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 get these seeds out of you. I, I'm going to go with the concept that these aren't actually seeds. They're just like rocks that got shoved into these fruits somehow, which is very sad for the fruits. But again, these are all fruits that fell off the tree and nobody wants them. What are you? You're a plum. You have a worm. He's your friend. He wants to stay there forever. Why would you want the worm removed? Your best pals. Also, you've got little little baby worms. Gross. <laughs> As I was saying it, I realized what I was saying was disgusting, yet I continued saying it. We can shoop! Let's do it. A clock. 
Now I know when to actually go home. But there are more fruits to save! We must continue working. Why you got pimples? Fruits aren't supposed to have pimples. There's no going back. Once you're a fruit with pimples, you're just, you're not meant for consumption. You're meant for a compost pile. I'm sorry, I, I'm so insensitive. As a fruit doctor, I should be a little bit more sensitive about my patients, but I can't help it. They're disgusting, it's not my fault. And the ones that aren't disgusting, I'm just gonna stick them in the fridge and eat them tomorrow. Yep, I said it. It's the truth. What can I say? I gotta get something for all my hard work. Why not be some delicious fruit? All right, let's get these rocks out of the pineapple. I don't know how they got there, but they gotta go. They gotta go. We gotta save this guy. All right, stitch you up. You're good. Band-aid you up. Why do some of the fruits get band-aids, but some of them don't? Like, I've stitched up a couple of fruits and I don't give them band-aid. I just Nobody send them off on their way. Oh, the look! <laughs> they need a fruit doctor! Those strawberries need a fruit doctor desperately not a refrigerator they needed me anyways i'm competing directly with bosch refrigerators they're taking my job away by making fruit fresher longer this coconut has hair which is kind of okay like i don't mind if a coconut is a little fuzzy but if an orange has hair or a banana has hair that ain't right go get yourself a new banana you look like you're having a very bad day something about like the way that the the banana is laying makes it even worse it's just like he's in just excruciating pain i think this guy has worms Yup, get the worms. And now you're ready to get thrown away. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm being so mean to these fruit. They're paying my bills. And to be fair, these fruit actually are good for the money, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Cause what are they doing? What kind of jobs does a fruit have? I guess if you have, I guess if you have arms and, and hands, you could do a lot of stuff. You could be like one of those, those uh, courtroom clerks. What are they called? A stenographer? Is that right? I don't know if that's right, but they're the people who write basically every Everything that's said in a courtroom, I would love to see a pair doing that. That would make me very happy. Can I be a fruit lawyer? Let's make that game. I mean, I love being a fruit doctor, but what if I was actually like in a courtroom of fruits trying to save the innocent? That's a good game idea. I'm just saying, can I make it? No, but I can pitch it. What's going on here? You got a lot of stuff going on. You've been, you've been laying out on the yard way too long and I hate to say it, but I don't think anybody wants to eat you. But again, I don't know if that's the goal of like, is that what fruits want. Do they want to be eaten or do they not want to be eaten? If they don't want to be eaten, maybe they shouldn't come to me. Maybe they should stay kind of gross. That's a great way to not get eaten. But on the flip side, it does seem kind of painful, whatever kind of ailments they're experiencing. What's going on here? You're an orange in excruciating pain. You have rocks. I've diagnosed your problem. There are rocks inside of you. Get them out. I'm a doctor. A lot of really rotten fruits around here. I don't like having to inject them. What am I even injecting them with? How is that solving the problem? Gosh, you've got a lot of rocks. That's right, Dr. Kean is on the job. What's the problem, doctor? He has a lot of rocks. I've solved it. I'm basically like the doctor house, but of fruits. It's Guillain Barre. No, it's rocks. It's lupus. Uh-uh. There's gross little worms growing inside of that fruit. I can diagnose any ailment that a fruit faces. <sighs> We can shoop. Let's do it. What do you got? A bookshelf. Now people will think I'm smart. Notice they'll think I'm smart. I got all these fruits fooled. They think I'm a real doctor. Oh man, joke's on them. I'm just a dude with a scalpel and a vacuum for sucking out worms. Gross. Save this pineapple. He's in so much pain. I want to do more uh, fruit baby deliveries. I feel like that's something that I can feel really good about. Like saving fruit baby lives. What a great thing to be a part of. I want to do more of that. Ew. Why does the strawberry have pimples? I just, why? I don't care that you have faces or arms, which is obviously a little weird. I don't know where you were grown. Probably very close to some radioactivity. But why you got pimples? Hey, it's a coconut with hair. That's fine. We don't mind. A little fuzz on a coconut is totally normal. It is a little weird though. <laughs> Could you imagine seeing someone shaving a coconut before they crack it open? <laughs> 
That <laughs> seems pretty funny to me. I don't know why. Stitch this guy up. Which I feel like would be really hard to do, right? Like, stitching up a coconut? These things are hard. I got some strong scalpels and I got some really strong needles. So many rotten apples in this world I'm living in. Fruits have faces and feelings. Not enough people are eating apples. Which in the context of this world is maybe a good thing. You know, like, as we established, they, they probably have feelings and families and hopes and dreams and things and you know someone just walked up to him took a big old bite out of an apple that would be kind of messed up plus all the hard work i've done saving all these poor fruits that have fallen off of trees and been abandoned to have it taken away so quickly by someone just walking up and chomping down on on a life that i saved wait a second was i not the one who was talking about putting these guys in the fridge and eating them later oh no i've become what i fear most oh well baby is it a baby pear a baby pear is so cute look at him Oh, he's so little, but he's also very happy. He loves his mama. What's the matter? What's the matter, mom? What's what's the problem here? Look, it's your baby. You should be happy. Oh, wait, you have a open wound. <laughs> should probably get that taken care of. All right, now you can be happy. No, don't look at me. Look at your baby. Shoop. Yes. That's the most expensive plant ever. That cost me $1,000 for an office plant. What's wrong with you? Why? <laughs> it's rude to say, but orange. You got to let let go, man. You got you got just like gross stuff going on. Like if there's if there's obviously something on the surface of that fruit going on that's bad, you know it's going to be pretty gross on the inside, right? This is it. It's just a plum with a pimple that needs to be popped. You really need a doctor for this? Maybe maybe cuz they don't have thumbs. That's the problem. I did just realize that these poor fruit people, they only have circles for hands. They have no fingers. How do you pick stuff up? What a cruel world. <gasps> Baby banana! Look at how cute he is. I love the little babies. They're so adorable. I love how I'm just gonna place this baby banana right next to the worm that I just took out of its mom. It's your brother. Look, your siblings. You're gonna live a long and happy life annoying each other forever. It's gonna be great. More fruit pimples. I hate it. Any fruit babies? No, no fruit babies. Just worms. I mean, technically they're fruit babies, right? You want to keep the worms? Probably not. Raise them like your own? More strawberries with worms becoming a serious issue. People biting into strawberries. Oh gosh, just the thought of that. Biting into a strawberry and being greeted with a bunch of little worms. Oh gosh, okay. I love saving fruit babies. I don't think I'm cut out for the whole worm thing though. I'm, I'm gonna go barf. Cute baby though. I found this game, it's called Dr. Fruit, and we're gonna play it today. But now if I scroll down on the download page though, first of all about this game, come on, the fruits need your help. Goes without saying, um, I can't help but feel like this game looks real, real similar to Fruit Clinic, which is of course a game that we've played in the past that is based on saving fruit lives. So I have no idea what we're getting into here, but either way, I'm excited to save some fruit. And perhaps deliver some fruit babies along the way. I like this banana, dude. Th that's what captured me, right? Was that shot of the banana? Oh gosh, okay, it's very loud. I was not expecting the music. We have $66, which is just enough to buy a heart monitor and also watch an ad about sheep. There's no option to disable ads. Okay, we're back at our fruit hospital. Let's start work and watch another ad. <laughs> Are you serious? Although I do have to say, this looks insanely cool. That is a giant gorilla snake monster. Okay, that, you know, that might be a game that we check out in the future. Level two, what, wait, what happened? to level one. I don't know. I'm confused, but we're gonna remove this worm from this banana, and he looks real, real happy about. It. Look at that. That's a that's a real happy banana. That's not a happy banana. Okay, okay, yep. And then we just take it over to the tray. Level two completed. I did it. I saved the banana from the worm that was eating his insides. You ever think about that? It's like an alien. It's disgusting. All right, let's move on. Are you gonna play another ad? No, 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 no ad. Okay, cool. Start work. Add. No! Is that supposed to be a strawberry? Or is it just a weirdly shaped tomato? I don't know. Either way, you, you've got a case of the larva, which is gross. Let's save him. Just. Oh, I sucked out his eye! I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, your eye is back? Okay. Um, clearly, I'm qualified to be doing this job. 
sucked out a strawberry's eye, put it back, and everybody's fine. Um, okay, yeah, you're good. All right, and then we'll stitch stitch you up. There you, there you go, buddy. Okay, cool. Why? Why? I, okay, please. I just want to play the game. I've employed a new strategy for avoiding as many ads as possible. I think it'll work. I've, uh, I've turned off my internet, which is something that people always suggest I do in the comment section, but then when I play the game, I always forget. I remembered this time, so thank you. Let's remove a worm from this cucumber, because remember, a cucumber is actually a, a fruit, apparently, which is weird, but also kind of awesome. But hear me out. That means that pickles are a type of fruit. I mean, because pickles are, are cucumbers. Y you know, you get it. Anyways, I'm going to slice you open, buddy. Oh, you've got a case of the larva again. Yeah, you <laughs> You look pretty upset. <laughs> I'm gonna fix you up. I got you, buddy. I got you. And then and then we stitch. We stitch away. Dude, I am an expert at saving fruit lives. What can I say? I've had a lot of experience doing this. Let's get some upgrades, I guess. How about a chair? Better chairs? Yeah, this looks almost exactly the same as Fruit Clinic. I'm not gonna lie. But let's continue working. Because I just, I just want a good excuse to cut open some fruit. But not actually eat them. Save them. The, I still don't know what this dude is. I don't think I've ever quite figured out. I think he might be an onion. Oh, I pulled out his eye again. <laughs> Can we put it back? Okay, there. All right. You're fine, buddy. You're fine. Don't worry about that eye. Oh, uh, ooh, uh, it fell out again. Um, it should grow back, right? He's a plant. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yep, there you go. See? See? And now you have hearts for eyes. It seems like the anesthesia that we gave him earlier made him forget about the whole eye situation, and now he loves me because I'm the world's greatest fruit doctor, of course. Let's buy a plant. For that was not a plant. <laughs> that was a bookshelf. I feel so betrayed. All right, let's buy another plant. Ah, uh, a better bookshelf, but now it has medicine on it. That is such a weird looking avocado. What is going on? Like, what happened to you? You're you're so weird looking. <laughs> All right. Oh, I think, wait, it just, you have a whole other avocado inside of you, like a smaller avocado. Are we, is this a baby avocado? It's okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh congratulations, I guess. Yep. We'll just, we'll just bandaid that up. There you go. All right. The bandaid is very sticky. It's a lot. There's a lot of stickiness on that bandaid. Okay. Um, well, congratulations. You've had a baby avocado. I feel like it should have been a pit, right? Cause avocados have pits. I don't know. Let's not read into it too much. Yes, I am a fruit doctor, but I'm not here to judge. I am not a fruit judge. I'm just doing the job. Let's continue working. Oh, oh, it's the pimple popping. I hate the pimple popping. I hate it so much. There is nothing to like about this, although it is kind of satisfying. <laughs> I do have to say, let's do it. Oh gosh, it is just truly foul. Just truly disgusting. We have found the larva situation and we, okay, we're removing the the larva, yes, saved. Okay, and now we are removing the smaller tomato that is inside of you um, that doesn't have a face for some reason. I don't, I don't know why that is. The the baby fruits don't have faces. They haven't grown them yet. That comes later. Let's continue. Ah, yes, I've seen this before, Mr. Eggplant. Uh, you have mushroomitis, but don't worry. A Dr. Fruit is here to save the day. Um, I don't know where he is, but I'm here as his backup. Look at that. It's a beautiful baby eggplant that doesn't actually have a face yet. That's fine. Um, we're going to stitch you up nice and good. There you go. Move right along. Next customer, please bring them in. It's like a factory of a fruit surgery. Just put them on the conveyor belt. I'll bring them in, stitch them up, cut out a few larvae. Good to go. Next, got to make that money. Got to pay rent for this, this medical office. It's expensive, man. Let's buy a new couch. I shouldn't be buying couches or bookshelves. Apparently, that's all I can buy. It's just a bunch of bookshelves. What What is this? What, like, am I seriously doing, like, a, a, a barber's job now? I'm just shaving a kiwi? It's weird, man. It's weird. Oh, wait, there's more to this. Oh, okay. You have a seed. I mean, I think it's supposed to be a, a baby kiwi, but it just looks like a seed, honestly. So there you go. You've had yourself a seed. Go plant it. Get some more kiwis. Let's buy plant. That is probably not going to be a plant. <laughs> I like how one of the options is like clearly medical devices. Like you can see it's a heart rate monitor, right? You'd think if I bought that, it would give me medical equipment. No, 
implants are the new medical equipment, which in some ways kind of makes sense because, you know, we are operating on plants. I just blew my own mind. Anyways, let's move right along. Um, this apple has has just like some dirt. There, you're saved. I did it. I washed you off. No, there's more to this. Let's cut him open. Oh gosh, it's just disgusting. I, uh, you know, I mean, if if fruit are concerned about having some kind of like bug infestation inside of them, so that they can be like edible later on, or 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 more delicious later on in their lives, I gotta be honest. I would never eat a, an apple that used to have larvae in it. Even if the larvae are gone, I don't want anything to do with an apple that once had larvae gross. How did I get $1.4,000? Did I seriously just, did I get some kind of family inheritance? Because I don't feel like that was worth that much money, but cool. Um, let's buy a medical device. All right, we're going to click the one on the left. Let's see what we get. Toolbox. Makes perfect sense. This is a fun time. Let's buy a couch. Get a coffee table. Let's buy a plant. You're gonna give me an IV. Yep, that's science. Um, let's buy another medical device. Four clock. All right, start some more work. Oh, it's weird onion guy again. Hello. Don't worry, buddy. We got this. Okay. Yep. You got some larva there. Yep. We're just gonna suck those right out of you, buddy. All right. You're good to go. Just stitch him up and pat him on the back and send him off on his way and bring in the next one. I only got 300 bucks for that one. Ew. What is even happening here? There's so many problems with you. I know <laughs> as a doctor, I probably shouldn't say that to my patients. <laughs> Could you imagine? Doc, I'm not feeling so good. Doc checks up on you. There are so many problems with you. Oh my goodness. Calls up his assistant. I'm, I'm gonna need more time. I, I'm gonna need like, like put like three or four more hours for this one. It's, there's so many problems. Probably something that you, you don't say right in front of your patient. But uh, let me tell you, the, this, this cucumber, pickle, whatever he is, had a lot of problems. Don't worry, we fixed them all and he still loves me. Even though I insulted him directly to his face. Let's buy a plant. What do you got for me? More medicine. Okay. All right. We're doing a barber's job again. Uh, although I will say there is some kind of disgusting infection on his chest. So let's uh, just inject that with some purple fluid. Of course, everybody knows purple fluid fixes fruit infections. Don't worry. I'm the doctor around here. I'm Dr. Fruit. Okay. I'm the expert. Just, okay. Well, why... So the kiwi actually was pregnant, but had a terrible infection. You gotta take care of yourself, little kiwi. Although at this shot and angle, kind of just looks like a potato. Maybe it's a potato with green insides. Who am I to judge, right? I'm a doctor, not a judge. Let's buy another plant. And by plant, I meant heart monitor. Eggplant, you got worms. Gross, you've been saved. You no longer have worms, but you do have baby. And we need to get that out of you right away. This is gonna, it's a terrible, terrible disease. What a terrible thing to say. Anyways, we'll stitch you up. All right, buy me a couch or a bookshelf. I, you never know what you're gonna get. There's another weird looking avocado. Why is this avocado so green? Also, like, why don't these fruits have leaves? None of these fruits have leaves. I feel deeply betrayed by this game. The babies don't have faces. The fruit don't have leaves. They, they have like a weird texture. Sometimes their eyeballs fall out. Can we talk about this? Why are their eyeballs falling out? It's very disturbing. Maybe as their doctor, I should figure out why that's happening. Listen, they're not paying me enough for this. So let's just buy some more stuff for our cool office. There, we got a new table. Let's buy a new, we actually clicked on the couch and got a new couch. I'm very excited about that. That's a very nice light. Let's buy another plant or medical table. Onion guy, you're back and you've got pimples. God, that is just... Truly foul, truly foul. All right, cut him open, suck out the larva and stitch him up. I can't help but feel like uh, the the surgery here is getting a little more repetitive than normal. Now, I don't know what normal means, but I feel like I am repeating a lot of the same things here. Getting some new curtains. Let's buy some something else, some kind of new medical device or a, an office light. That's fine too. Um, it's just a dirty tomato. Clean up a dirty tomato and live to see another day. A dirty tomato that has a baby tomato. All right, there you go. Your eye fell out for a second there. I'm glad that it grew back. It's 
very weird. <laughs> this is so strange. Oh, the band-aids. They're so sticky. I gotta like, uh, it's like five or six swipes to get that band-aid on there. You're never getting that band-aid off. And if you do try, it might just rip off your skin. I'm sorry, Mr. Tomato, but that band-aid is now a part of you forever. It's another gross kiwi. Why aren't these kiwis taking care of themselves? You know what? Maybe they're not kiwis, right? We've established they could be just potatoes with the uh, with green insides. Of course. There you go. You're all fixed up. I never saw his insides, so he could very well be a potato. Let's let's go with that even though potatoes are not fruit. I'm diversifying. You can now call me Dr. F fruit Veggie. Not great. Veggie fruit also not great. Buy me a couch or chairs. Okay, those are those are kind of cool looking. New bookshelf, cactus bookshelf. Buy some medical devices or a rug. In some ways, a rug could be a medical device. You know, it keeps the floor clean. It's a stretch, definitely a stretch. Okay, uh, I've done this. I've been there, I've done that. Your eye fell out again. Oh, here we go. We got the scanner. We gotta find the larva, find the location of the larva infection, larva-itis. That's the, uh, the technical scientific term, of course. And as a doctor, I always use the most difficult term to describe something so that people think I'm smarter than I actually am. Probably shouldn't have admitted that. There's an apple on my table, but he looks totally fine. He's good. All right, move on. Next patient, please. No, not an option. I'll go back to my office. Just, just ignore him. He'll leave. You're still here. You Seriously, you're just, all right, fine. All right, fine. I'm just gonna cut you open. I'm just gonna cut you open for no reason. Okay, all right, fair enough. You you do have a larva-itis. Why are you crying? You're happy that I, that I sucked the larva out of you? I mean, I'm glad that you're happy, but also like, I don't, I don't think that's the right response to, you know, literally just having like an open cut on your chest. It's just weird. Weird. A little weird. These fruit are weird. I got so much money. Apples, they bring the cash. So next time an apple walks in, looks like there's nothing wrong with him, I'll find something wrong with him. That might be malpractice. Don't tell anybody I said that. Let's buy some stuff. Okay. New shelf. A, a new desk. Ooh, fancy. Elbow desk. And a medical device. I got up the plant. Full level. I've I've fully leveled up my couch stuff. It's a little disappointing. Let's uh let's buy a medical stuff. Not fully leveled. Not yet. Oh, look at that. Now I finally put up my, my accolades and certificates that prove I'm a I'm a genuine fruit doctor. Dr. Fruit. I mean, it's my name. Ew! Why do these fruit have pimples? Should not have acne. Just get them a prescription for, what's it called? Proactive. Fix up all these veggies and fruits. There are so many problems with this guy. And by problem, I mean you're, you have a baby. I didn't, I didn't mean to call your baby a problem. I'm sorry. That was, that was a little, little rude of me. Just a little bit rude. I don't have enough money to buy anything at this point. I need another tomato to walk in here with all that cash. Why, why did tomato, no, not tomato, apple. Apples are the rich ones. Goodness gracious. That was a huge cut for like five larva. I feel like I should be like a little less, less cut happy here as a, as a surgeon. Just kind of, kind of wild. A loose cannon. Might lose my job. Let's buy a plant or a light. What happens if I hit the full level thing? The game just blows up. <laughs> It, it doesn't know how to react. Okay, fair enough. You're supposed to be an avocado, but I'm not convinced. Also, I can tell, like, there's already a seam on this, this creature. Oh, you just, are those seeds? Or are those, like, like, bug eggs? Oh, your eye! Gosh, I don't know why these fruits keep losing their eyes, but I, I'm not being paid enough to figure it out. Buy another plant. <laughs> It's a nice plant. Let's cut open this tomato. See if uh, he's bringing the cash. Deliver the baby tomato. Save a life. Make someone a parent. Everybody's happy. Don't take this Band-Aid off. Like I said, this Band-Aid is now a part of you forever. Just like that new little baby tomato. All right, you brought a little bit of cash. Um, enough to buy some more fake certificates put on my wall. No one will be suspicious of that. I think we only have like one more thing to buy. So let's save this banana's life by popping a pimple. Dr. Fruit Pimple Popper. That'll be my new YouTube channel. Clean this guy up. His eye fell out for a second, but we fixed it. It grew back. Don't worry. Gosh, look at that money. I just got like $3,000. Bananas. They also got the cash. Oh my goodness. $2,000 for another plant? For fake certificates? I don't know. For some reason, it, it seems to be implying that I have enough 
money to buy the plant, but I don't. Let's just click it, see what happens. Not enough balance. Okay, you lied to me. Oh, I like this. I'm putting the Band-Aid over the incision that I made, but not even the whole thing. We, we didn't have Band-Aids that were long enough for eggplants, apparently. <laughs> buy me that plant! Is this the last upgrade? Oh, an air conditioner. Not the last upgrade. One more, maybe. Save the onion buy a medical device. Words to live by. I'm getting very good at this though. I mean, I think it's safe to say at this point in time, I'm the world's greatest fruit doctor. I don't like to brag. It's kind of hard to deny it though. I think I have enough. I do. Is this the final? Oh my gosh. It just keeps going. So many things to buy. It's too much work. They always say retire when you're at the top. You know what? I'm calling it fruit doctoring. It's done. I'm done.